November is Diabetes Awareness Month, and local hospitals are educating the Valley about the disease as well as how to prevent a diagnosis. CBS 4's Marco Ramirez joins us live with more from one Valley doctor who says the disease is a big problem here in the area. Marco. Faith doctors at DHR Health say they are used to treating a large number of diabetic patients, but Dr. Marcel Tohera says residents at risk can take action to prevent being a part of that increasing number. I guess it's not a bad idea to have a month that is dedicated to a certain disease. And for diabetes here in the Valley, it's really appropriate. The number of diabetic cases in the U.S. has grown by more than 34 million people, according to the CDC. Dr. Marcel Tohira with DHR says the Valley is no stranger to high diabetes numbers. If you happen to live down here in the Valley, if you're Hispanic, you are at risk of becoming diabetic. You may even be diabetic and not even know it. So the best thing to do is to have your blood glucose checked and be active and eat properly. The DHR Diabetic and Endocrinology Institute in Edinburgh sees many patients on a daily basis. But Dr. Tohira says there are various factors as to why the rate of diabetes is so high in the valley. It could be genetic. It could be also lifestyle. It could be the food we eat. It could be what we do and we don't do. I think it's a combination of both. If we can change anything, we'll change, for example, our lifestyle. We need to be more active. One complication of diabetes is heart failure, but experts say it is hard to detect at first. And while DHR and other Valley hospitals are helping the community find risk factors, healthcare workers hope Valley residents will make a change to prevent the rate of diabetes from increasing. Not to be top 10 obese cities in the country. Right now, we are the number two or number one for the past decade. That needs to change if we're going to change the prevalence of diabetes in the, in the area. And Dr. Tohira says awareness here in the Valley should continue year-round. For more information on how to identify symptoms as well as local resources, head to valleycentral.com. Working for you in the newsroom, I'm Marco Ramirez.